Hi Tejas. Hi Deepal. Tejas yesterday I was study about the OSPF N1 and N2 routes which shows on OSPF routing table. But my concept is not so clear. Can you help me on this? Oh sure. Tejas what is N1 and N2 routes in OSPF routing table? N1 is NSSA external type 1. N2 is NSSA external type 2. Both use LSA type 7 in OSPF. The route which are redistributed in OSPF NSSA area by ASBR are shown external N1 and N2 route in OSPF routing table. Tejas still it is not clear. Can you explain with some example? Oh sure Deepal look at to this diagram. I already configured the IP address of all the device. Now I will start the OSPF, EIGRP, NSSA area and redistribution configuration. Okay. I will start with R1. Now R2. R3 R4 In R4 I have to configure OSPF as well as EIGRP Now R5. Let's redistribute from OSPF to EIGRP and from EIGRP to OSPF in R4. You must watch my last video about what is E1 and E2 routes in OSPF, N1 and N2 is same concept. Only difference it when you create NSSA area it will convert from E1 to N1 and E2 to N2. See currently we did not create NSSA area so it will show E2 routes. We will check the ping response. Ping is reachable. Let's make the area 1 NSSA. NSSA rule, it should be configure in each and every router of area 1, if any router is missing then it will give the NSSA flag error and neighborship of OSPF will not create.
In area 1 there are 3 router R2, R3, and R4. We will configure the NSSA area in all 3 router of area 1. Let's verify it and check the R3 OSPF routing table. See instead of E2 root it convert in N2 root. Because in NSSA area type 5 LSA is not allowed. So NSSA area convert type 5 LSA to type 7 LSA. Tejas what is the difference between N1 and N2 roots in OSPF? For the difference between N1 and N2 roots in OSPF, I already made a separate video. You must watch that video so that your concept will more clear. Okay. Tejas my concept of N1 and N2 roots of OSPF is clear now. Thank you.